So last week's video was on wheel safety and today we're going to talk about tyres. Now it's very easy to underestimate the dangers involved in tyres of this size. To give you an example of the differences, ordinary car tyres averaging around 30 to 32 psi. Tyres like this, you're looking at 90, 120 psi. So they pose significantly more danger if there was to be a failure. And to give you an idea of the destructive power behind these, I'm just going to show you a few video clips, which are probably going to shock you, but it really helps you to understand why we have to be so cautious about how we treat the tyres, especially when inflating them. So last week I talked about doing an inspection of your vehicle every day before you drive it, have a walk around, and in particular we were talking about wheel nuts. It's also a good practice to have a good look at your tyres. Visually, look at them, look for any cuts, slits, especially, especially if you've been off-roading and you could have damaged the sidewall. A, a cut in your sidewall that does pose um, a threat to rapid deflation. Tires like this, small cuts aren't going to be a problem, but it is something you want to look out for. You also want to look for foreign bodies, obviously. It's very easy to miss the inside of your tyre. Outside is easy to inspect. So you want to get under your truck and just have a look at your tyres, inspect them around. And while you're down here, just have a general inspection, make sure there's no leaks, seals are good. Just... So you're looking for damage, any bulges, bulges in particular, because that's going to suggest you've got a damaged carcass and the air is able to start to push out. Now, when off-roading it is quite frequent that you will deflate your tyres, air down, to get a bigger tread pattern, spread the load onto the, the surface. But when you do that, it's very likely, or you certainly expose the side of the tyre, the tyre wall, to damage because Potentially, if, you've got, if you're quite low, you've got this part of the tyre is on the floor. It becomes part of your tread pattern. So it is quite easy to damage this. I've not suffered this myself. Um, could be luck. Um, could be that these tyres are super tough. So the biggest danger to you is when inflating the tyre. Because there could be dam un unseen damage. And with my truck, it came on the end of an airline. Um, I'm not sure what you'd call it, but a small inflator, which requires you to hold it on like this, which is a really bad idea because you're standing in the danger zone. This here, if you take a, a 45 degree, that's the danger zone. If this tire was to explode and you're standing here, as you saw in the, the short video clip, if you don't die, you're going, to be, you're going to be messed up. So you, having this standing here is a bad idea. You want to be, I wouldn't want to be this close if that went off, but you want to be away from the tyre, out of the danger zone. So I've devised a system myself. There are many ways of doing this. I have a central tyre inflation system for my truck. I'm, I'm very good at losing these. Always try and put them somewhere and don't forget where you put them. So on my truck I have installed uh, quick connects. This is a PCL quick connect. Every corner, and this one is under here, has a quick connect. So I can inflate all four of my tyres simultaneously. And the, the benefit is you can leave this danger area, have a cup of tea and a bit of cake, while the truck compressor is doing all the work for you. Now you don't want to overpress your tyres, as I said, because that's where the risk comes in. So I have a, um, a pressure valve, which I can set. So I have this valve here, which I can set the pressure. Now the, the truck's not been moved for a while, so there's no pressure in the system. 
but I can sit let's for example say I want my tyres at 90 front tyres at 90 psi put 90 psi on this on this gauge and I can walk away and and I know the front tyres won't go beyond 90 psi now if I was to build this system again I would have two gauges and the reason for this is back tyres being of a different pressure to the front tyres ideally I'd set the front at maybe 90 or 100 and the back at 120, 10, 120 at the moment I have to set I set the front to 90 or 100 well, it depends on what I'm doing and then I have to disconnect the front change it to 110 and let the backs inflate so for those who are deaf this is the uh, connection here which you would typically fit your tire inflator onto so I have this airline up into this box here which goes to the pressure, pressure gauge and then into the manifold where the, all these airlines are then distributed around the four corners of the truck and then I have an airline for each corner of the truck they're all the same length and I also have a lot, much longer airline for inflating the motorcycle or helping out other travellers so with these I inflate all four tyres, cup of tea, job done this is one way of doing it and this is this does cost more than just buying a simple tyre inflator I went for this system because I knew I was going to be airing and down, airing up constantly it does make life a little bit simpler and safer as I said another option is to get yourself a manual inflator on a long hose so you can stand the back of the truck and inflate this and with a gauge you can see where you've set where, your, where the inflation is now airing down, airing down is not a problem because there's so much air in these tyres I've, I've got in the habit of I actually have a either on the end of the valve cap or I have a tool I'll just back the valve core out you really don't want to stand there with your finger in the valve trying to inflate them you'll be there for hours so back the valve core out So if you're interested in doing a similar system to me, having all four corners with individual connections to inflate your tyres, possibly the, one of the most expensive parts of the system are these screw-on fittings. They are outrageous. But I, I personally wouldn't buy the clip-on. I've I spent a lot of money on, good, on decent clip-ons and found that they didn't work very well. And if you've seen the um, video clip of me in... Russia stuck in the sand and I break a half shaft this was due to laziness but the reason I was being lazy because the clip on fittings I had was so useless I didn't want to deflate my tyres and then have to go for the pain of inflating them again because of these clippings were so these clip, clip on fittings were so bad so you try to make buy a quality kit make Deflating your tyres and inflating them as easy as possible because it's more, it means you are likely to avoid a situation where you're trying to push your truck through something when you really should deflate your tyres and drive out easy. Okay. So we found a bit of sand and I do like to play in a bit of sand. I like to test the abilities of Ms. Hilda. So she sunk in a bit and I was feeling a bit lazy so I didn't, didn't deflate. We should get up the hill. So I put low ratio first. Well, she, she was already in low ratio, um, four wheel drive, and she was bunny hopping. She, she, she was doing it, she was making good progress. And then she, one wheel found something hard. There's a step up, but the step was hard. So it, it gets put a lot of load into that wheel and snapped the half shaft on the back. So now I have a front wheel drive truck in the sand on a hill. Surrounded by sand dunes. Surrounded by sand dunes. There's no way she's getting out on her own. So and we're happy just to leave him and go on the rest of our travels, but apparently that's not acceptable. They've got tractors on this island, I'm fine. <laughs> so it's down to puddles to save the day <coughs> again. I wonder if you get enough you get enough of those little vans where they could put um, like husky dogs. Uh, the little gas trucks that we like so much like mush, 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 and get them to go. Truck's good, normally. It's if you abuse them, you're lazy, you can break them. You just summed yourself up. <laughs> if, if I was a spectator, I said, you really don't want to be doing that, but 
doing myself. I just thought, oh, I'm just going to make it. Gonna, she'll, get, she'll get out of here. I just kept pushing her and pushing her. I knew the risk. I just, you know, I like I like to push things to the limit. You know the risk and sometimes you fine. find the limit. So because this was such a pain to do, I didn't deflate the tyres because I didn't want to have to inflate them again and have this problem. Had I inflate, deflated, I wouldn't have broken the half shaft. I wouldn't have been stuck. So my advice is buy screw on, buy quality kit, make life as easy as possible, make inflation, deflation, no matter what you do, make it as easy as possible. And you'll most likely avoid situations where you break kit because you didn't deflate your tyres or whatever you should have done. Make life easy for yourself.